At the ADX 2024 International Defense Exhibition, held in Baku, Azerbaijan, Improtex Industries introduced its groundbreaking revival series Demoning Vehicles. This debut is a significant milestone for Azerbaijan's defense industry, showcasing the growing capabilities of local firms in the development of specialized vehicles for humanitarian demoning operations, especially in post-conflict regions. One of the standout models, the Revival T, is engineered specifically for clearing anti-tank mines. Powered by a CAT C18 engine that generates 710 horsepower and a massive 3200 Nm of torque, this vehicle is built for heavy-duty demoning tasks. With its dimensions, 8,400 mm in length, 2,500 mm in height, and 3,000 mm in width, the Revival T is a formidable presence, weighing in at 21,000 kg. Capable of clearing up to 4, 500 m superscript 2 of terrain per hour, the Revival T ensures both speed and safety, using a remote control system that allows operators to handle it from a safe distance. Built to withstand rugged conditions, it can scale 35-degree longitudinal inclines and 20-degree transverse inclines, making it well-suited for challenging environments. Additionally, the vehicle can resist blasts up to 11 kg of TNT, ensuring durability and survivability in the face of explosions. The Revival P, designed for neutralizing anti-personnel mines, boasts several technical improvements over previous designs. One key upgrade is its 11% larger flail attachment, which significantly enhances its mine-clearing capacity. Furthermore, the vehicle is equipped with a custom-built Agco Power 74D engine, offering 306 horsepower and 1 200 Nm of torque, a 20% power increase over its predecessors. The Revival P also features a more robust cooling system for uninterrupted operations, along with a larger fuel tank for extended field missions. Its low center of gravity enhances stability, especially in explosive conditions. Weighing 6, 500 kg and measuring 4, 900 mm in length, 1, 850 mm in height and 1, 700 mm in width, the Revival P is compact and agile. It can clear up to 2, 500 m superscript 2 of land per hour, moving at a speed of 5 km slash h, and is built to withstand blasts from up to 7 kg of TNT. Like the Revival T, it employs a remote control system, allowing operators to maintain a safe distance of up to 2,000 meters during operations. Both the Revival T and Revival P share several innovative features that highlight Improtex Industries' commitment to safety and efficiency. Special armored materials protect critical components such as the engine, hydraulic systems, and electronic systems from explosive impacts. Furthermore, the remote control technology allows operators to handle demoning from a safe distance, significantly reducing the risk of injury from mine explosions, debris, and shock waves. The Revival series represents a critical innovation in demoning operations, essential for rehabilitating post-conflict territories. By clearing contaminated lands, these vehicles play a vital role in restoring infrastructure and safeguarding civilian populations, contributing to global humanitarian demoning efforts. The launch of the Revival T and Revival P at ADX 2024 signals Improtex Industries' ambition to emerge as a key player in the global demoning sector. With their advanced technological features, explosion resistance, and robust design, these vehicles are likely to be in high demand across countries impacted by conflict. Their deployment will be instrumental in ensuring safe, efficient demoning operations, enabling post-war reconstruction and recovery. With the introduction of the Revival series, Improtex Industries is positioning itself as a leader in the defense and humanitarian demoning sectors, both domestically and internationally. The company's ongoing commitment to innovation and safety ensures that the Revival vehicles will play a central role in shaping future demoning efforts worldwide. As post-conflict nations seek efficient and reliable solutions to landmine contamination, the Revival T and Revival P are set to become indispensable tools for reconstruction and recovery, helping to pave the way towards safer, mine-free environments.